By 2027, AI could be using 10 million liters of water a minute. That's the same amount as four Olympic sized swimming pools. AI can be fun. I've made my fair share of silly images with my mates about the Brits crying that they lost the ashes. And when it isn't hallucinating, it gives us answers to our burning questions. Like, what should I say to this weird guy who keeps texting me? But AI tools like ChatGPT are powered by data centers that use a lot of energy and water for cooling. In the grand scheme of things, a few ChatGPT queries aren't a huge deal when compared to other things we do every day that use water and energy, like making cups of coffee or watching Instagram reels. But globally, AI's use of resources is big and getting bigger. Energy used in US data centers has more than doubled in the last few years thanks to AI, and tech giants are spending billions building more of them. Microsoft has even blamed the rise of AI for its failure to meet its own carbon reduction targets. Plus, some people who live around data centers are reporting a loss of clean drinking water. And don't even get us started on the other concerns about stealing artists' work, spreading misinformation, and the power we're putting in the hands of a few tech bros. If AI is really gonna help us use less energy and water, then the tech companies really need to get on top of it. In the meantime, if you don't wanna to contribute to the growth of AI just for the sake of an image of yourself in the style of Studio Ghibli, here are five things you can do instead. Just as Descartes said, I think therefore I am. Feels like we're losing our humanity a little bit if we ask a computer what to do. Do you know where AI got a lot of its info from? Books. There's these cool places called libraries that are free and have a plethora of books to choose from. And libraries are sick. Search engines just work. Plus the info will stay with you a lot longer than if you just regurgitate what AI told you. Have an idea for a picture? Why not pick up a new skill and start drawing? I promise you'll have way more fulfillment if you do it yourself. It's as simple as that. If you think there's no point in writing that work email because you don't think anyone's gonna read it, writing it with AI will definitely make that a reality. AI can be useful for specific things, but do we really need to replace everything we do with AI? Plus the growing environmental costs are truly not worth a hundred word email you need to send out by end of day because 